Hello friends, this is Pravalika from Agro Aviation's Private Limited. Today, I'm going to share an interesting topic about Cabin Crew Malaysian Airlines question and answers, requirements and benefits. The contents that I'm going to share today is introduction, requirements, benefits, question and answers. Malaysian Air Airlines was first started in 1972 with the name Malaysian Airlines System. Then it was it was renamed as Malaysian Airlines in 1987. Then further, it was in 2012 in which the logo and the name style has been changed. Until now, it is in the form you can see that is from 2013. It is of Malaysian Airlines with a logo and a style in a different way. An introduction about Malaysian Airlines are Malaysian Airlines, formerly known as Malaysian Airlines System, branded as Malaysian Airlines in the flag carrier airline of Malaysia and the member of One World. The customer service number you could see is 18001027 and 8. Alliance is One World. CEO of this is Islam Ismail. And the requirements that in the Malaysian Airlines are Malaysian should say you must be a Malaysian citizen and the females are about 18 to 30 years old. Sijal Pelajaran Malaysian that is SPM or equivalent with credits in English and Basaha Malua. Minimum height of 157 centimeters with proportionate weight. The benefits are working environment changed from excellent to worse with changes in incapable management that tarnishes the image of the airline. The pros are travel benefits with medical coverage, conductive working environment, positive co-workers, well-organized, fun, benefits, not stressful, harmony, free ticket, free uniform, and the cons are unproductive time spent in the office, lack of leadership. The question and answer session is, the first thing, what do you know about our regulations? With this question, your potential employees are essentially checking that you have done your homework about the airlines you are applying to. So make sure you do your company research before the interview and familiarize yourself with the key details. The next question is, where do you see yourself in five years? This is a common question in many interviews, but in the context of airline industry, where staff turnover can be high, you are essentially being asked how long you are planning to stick around. After all, it's fairly common for cabin crew to gain experience with a small airline and then jump ship to a bigger one that flies more. The next question is, what are your strengths? This, this to question, to answer this question, you need to first understand the key skills and personality traits that airlines are looking for. The next question is, do you prefer working alone or as part of the room? In the context of a cabin crew interview, the answer to this particular interview question should be pretty obvious. Airlines are looking exclusively for people who are working well in a team as the success of their entire customer operation depends entirely upon a smooth learning service. Fifth question is, recall a time when you had to deal with a difficult customer, how did you resolve the issue? There is a conventional wisdom in customer service circle about how in any way given situation, the customer is always right. As previously mentioned, good customer service is a large part of an airline hostess job. So, your potential employees will be carefully scrutinizing your response. The next question, how will you handle being away from family and friends? This question is just, isn't just alluding to the physical distance you will be traveling but to the long and demanding working hours as well. Flights operate at all hours of a day to 65 days a year, so it's likely that at some point you'll have to make sacrifices in your personal life. The next is, are you applying for vacancies at other airlines? This is a tricky question and to be honest, a little naughty. If indeed you are casting the net wide, though, the best approach is to be truthful about it. Not only does it show your potential employees that you are serious about finding a job as an air hostage, but if you have performed well and are a strong candidate, 
they might be a little more keen to ensure that they secure your services. The next is list the top three skills that will make you an ideal team member at Malaysian Airlines. I see that your job description requests candidate who is organized, honest, and driven by customer satisfaction. These skills are at the top of my list. But in addition to this, I am a proven leader and I can work well under pressure. This must be the answer for the question. The next question is, why are you the best choice for Malaysian Airlines? The answer is like, I feel that I am the top candidate for Malaysian Airlines because I already bring five years of industrial experience, my customer service skills are unmatched, and I'm fluent in three languages which allow me to communicate smoothly with a large range of customers. And the next question is, employees of Malaysian Airlines are expected to be reliable, on time, and accessible when on fit. Do you consider yourself to be a dedicated employee? And the answer is, I'm in my most recent position, I was often recognized for being flexible with my av availability. In the summary, I have introduced about Malaysian advice in brief, the requirements, benefits, question and answers. Thank you.